Take it. Hey guys, welcome to my Slice Simple. In this slice, we're going to talk about African emancipation. For a very long time, Africans have been fighting for emancipation, both politically and economically, and rightly so. The colonial powers are still in control of the economy and the politics of Africa, and Africans have been fighting to change that. It's a long haul, but it won't get there. One other aspect that has been neglected is cultural emancipation, which means the belief system. Since the colonial powers came, African religion and belief system changed as well. Many Africans follow Christianity for different reasons. What has Christianity brought to Africa? Has it brought good or bad? If you're a Christian, I'm not telling you to stop believing. I'm telling you to start re-evaluating your belief system and see the benefits that Christianity has brought to the African people. Don't think about yourself, think about Africa. How Christianity has changed Africa for good. Which is why recently P.O.L. Lumumba a very powerful African activist has been making some very strong points on how us Africans keep thinking that religion or believing in God is the only way to save yourself or to achieve growth and how we need to change our mentality in order to achieve growth through hard work and not through the thinking that God is going to do it for us. In his statement, he emphasizes how African people think that if something is happening, then only God can change it. Which isn't so. We need to start fighting for ourselves. We need to start making the changes that we want to see. It is up to us and God won't do it for us. We have to do it for, for ourselves. We have to change our thinking and start believing that we have the ability to change everything. And here's what he had to say about Africans thinking about God being the only solution, how we need to change that in order to achieve everything that we've been wanting to achieve. Watch. So we say, oh God, did God, let's not allow God to enter into these things which we can do ourselves. God is very busy with very serious issues upstairs. He has given us minds and hearts and we had better use them because the divine instruction is to go and subdue the world. On our part, we have allowed the world to subdue us. Then we are complaining, God, you know, and, and pastor, you are here. <laughs> there are certain things that can only be solved by hard work and logic, and yet we think they can be solved by prayer and fasting. They will, that will not happen. <laughs> so my own view is, we must begin to do things for ourselves. It is very clear that there's no way of achieving growth without hard work or without thinking logic, without making the efforts ourselves. Christianity and believing in God won't change a thing for Africa for the next centuries if we don't change our minds and start doing things ourselves and start believing in ourselves that we have the ability and the creativity to change the direction of the wind, to change the way things are going on in Africa, to be free culturally, politically, and economically. It is a fight that every African needs to take up personally and unitedly. It is not a fight for any other entity out there. 
it is our responsibility to change our fate as African. Thank you for watching and if you're new on this side, please subscribe for more videos like this. Bye-bye.